Hey guys and welcome to my tutorial video on how to render high quality map images of Minecraft worlds using some very simple software and a little bit of patience if your computer is slow or um, a little bit of um, time and basically um, this software you need to do this the software is absolutely free I show you let's go to Chrome um, if you go to launchpad.net forward slash chunky you will find a program that offers this rendering sort of um, technique for you so all you have to do is download it if you, you can see here there's different versions you can download I would download the, the chunky 1.1.7 there may be a different version available the time you're watching this video but I've downloaded the execution file feel free to download the zip if you've got a zip and archiver sort of software on your computer so download that and install it on your local hard drive and go to the software and launch it so in my case I can launch it from here so as you can see there is a shortcut so we'll click on that and launch the software which is totally epic okay so this will now target your local minecraft worlds um, if you have more than one you can click on select world and it'll bring up a menu here so you can choose which one you want so which one are we going to use let's use the snow hut this is one of my creative builds I've done on my channel okay so now that you can see the world my hut is in this section here so we want to go in and we want to look around and we want to like put the camera in a specific position to do that you need to hold left shift and highlight the chunk or the selection of chunks you want to look into and it'll go red then you right click on the chunk selection and click OK and then it'll render a <coughs> let me just bring this in as you can see we can move the mouse and look around and it'll put you where um, you last logged out or it'll put you at the center of what you just highlighted so as you can see there's no detail here at the moment there's no shadows and um, this is purely so you can set position where you want to um, take your image so to move around it is pretty simple it's W A S D um, it's, very, it's very similar to using MC Edit of course so if you use an MC Edit in the past um, you'll use this software no problem um, you left click with a mouse and hold and you can change and rotate your view so this will take a little bit of practice but once you get used to it it'll be totally fine so what you can do then you can come in on here and you can get a nice position on what you want to take a photograph of once you have done that you want to minimize this actually we don't want to minimize that we want to go back to this window that pops up after you select um, the actual chunk regions you can half size this of course so you can make a smaller render or you can just you know you can double size it you can make like 1080 pictures but I'd recommend doing 720 by doing 720 you just you put a custom canvas size in here so you can just put the specific pixel height and length which is pretty simple okay so we're gonna half this just for the example so the 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 finished result rendered image will just be um, 640 by 6 by 360 okay so now then we want to click on start and what you'll do you'll start rendering the image with the default settings for lighting sky and so forth like that as you can see the front of the house is very dark and we don't want that we want we want to make the light look a lot more epic so we can go to lighting and we can change the latitude of the Sun in the sky according to our building so <laughs> you can see that the the sun is now in the f in the background of the top right so we kinda wanna swing it round now to the front of the house you could do that by using this azimuth whatever that means I, I don't even know if I pronounced it properly but you could change the sun direction put it somewhere really nice with the light so it hits the house and sort of cascades down over you can continue changing the latitude of the sky to do so like this too if those combinations of words made totally sense so it's pretty much just playing around the light um, the, the enable emitter um, enhances torches and so forth like that so if you've got torches in caves um, it'll enhance torches but if that's too high you will get um, you will get like pixels on screen which look really weird okay so once you do that as you can see down here where my mouse is it, say, it says rendering 
um, as you can see there's a number going up to 1000 um, you can wait for that to hit a thousand and then all you have to do is click on this save current frame or if you think the image is rendered enough and you think it's kind of cool and you, you don't want it to render anymore um, you can click on save frame but for best results wait for the render to finish but for this example I'm going to click save frame now what will happen it will bring up a dialogue where you can save your image so we want to save this on possibly the desktop of my computer and click save so that image is nice and saved now so we can go ahead and stop this and that we can close all this down so if I head to my desktop and then preview the image as you can see we have a nice high quality rendered image of my snow house with a nice lighting effect and the blocks are all nice and sharp and filled with detail um, there's loads of other settings in this software by the way guys my um, my um, sort of tips for you is just play around with it and work it out yourself. Um, if someone told you what to do, you're probably not going to like the effect that it produces. Um, I hope this helps. The The link for the software is in the description. And to head on over there and you know, make some awesome stuff. If you make any really epic snaps of your stuff, feel free to tweet me them. I'll be really interested in, in seeing these high quality um, images of your Minecraft worlds. So thanks for watching guys and I shall be seeing you in another video. So thanks for watching and peace out.